When we were doing interview for the documentary of the China Monologue, I interviewed Professor Ai Xiaoming, um, and I asked her about how does she think about the impact of this drama play. Uh, she was not so optimistic as I thought. Uh, I was quite upset in the beginning. I was thinking why she is so negative about uh, the society, and later on, I found. Uh, that she is really very realistic and uh, really uh, see very uh, in a very intelligent way about the Chinese society. Somehow, although uh, the uh, vagina monologue, uh, this drama play had played in many places, but uh, this um, uh, uh, patriarchal society is still so hard for women's rights. Um, so I, uh, I, uh, after that, I really appreciate her give me this point of view. Uh, for me, um, I think uh, art is one of the way to express ourselves and also get more people to be involved uh, with. Uh, um, uh, uh, with um, together with other people and to create a better life, uh, but somehow uh, for China it's still very slow uh, progress. Uh, there, there are a lot of work need to be done besides just the making arts, um, such like uh, uh, organizations. Um, uh, like uh, um, feminism uh, voices and uh, uh, other um, queer and uh, women's group, uh, what they do is really amazing. Uh, I would say uh, uh, it's really my great honor, my big pleasure to uh, be a witness of the whole progress. Uh, and but somehow uh, those contribute uh, uh, really, really rely on them. They put their uh, mind, their uh, resource and their uh, passionate to it. In China, because of the special in society environment and uh, government, we can't do uh, big events such like a, a, a demonstration on the street. Uh, so one of the very important ways is to communicate with uh, the audience and the uh, society with uh, media and art. So film is very important media to make understanding for uh, wider audience in China. Uh, so, but unfortunately, uh, the media are controlled by the government uh, with very strict censorship. Topics like uh, uh, queer and uh, feminism are very sensitive. Uh, so far, there are very, very few uh, films related to LGBT topics could be screened uh, openly. Uh, there, the society really lack of the information. Uh, therefore, we want to screen those queer films as m much as we can. Uh, so uh, we uh, before uh, before 2009, there was a Beijing Queer Film Festival uh, funded in 2001 already, uh, but there uh, there are very few chances for people from outside of uh, big cities in China to see queer movies. In 2009, we founded this group called uh, China Queer Independent Films, and our uh, one of our uh, biggest uh, goal is to let uh, uh, people from smaller cities see queer movies. So uh, I think uh, um, almost every year we reach uh, more than 10 cities. We do screenings more than uh, 30 and uh, we reach thousands of uh, audience. And moreover that we bring some uh, Chinese independent filmmakers who had made queer films to those cities that would uh, meet with the local audience, have a uh, a uh, different kind of discussion and also inspiring for their future uh, uh, work on queer movies. So it was such a beautiful memory for me. Uh, but somehow, because uh, me myself, I want to focus more on filmmaking myself. Uh, so I'm not involved with the group anymore, but I have been always offering my films uh, for them to screen and also give them suggestions. As China is such a big country, there are many, many differences uh, between different regions and uh, east coast and west coast and rural area and urban area. And uh, e uh, even within the uh, city, there are also uh, big uh, 
issues such like uh, class and uh, income and uh, uh, migration. Uh, so uh, I have been always concerning about this. Uh, for my uh, documentaries, when uh, we made Mama Rainbow, I already want to include in some uh, uh, families from countryside or from smaller city or from uh, west uh, part of China, uh, but uh, unfortunately we didn't find a suitable help family to be included. Actually, we had talked with one family from Inner Mongolia and uh, already planned to go there, but in the end they rejected us. Uh, but when I was making Papa Rainbow, I got uh, six families. Actually, uh, Three of uh, those families are from northwest China, and uh, some of uh, them are uh, from uh, east coast, but uh, also from smaller cities such like Zhangzhou and Ganzhou. So when I was showing the movie, I had to add a, uh, added a good Google map into the film to tell people where the city is, uh, because even some Chinese audience don't know where it is, uh, which is very uh, interesting for the progress of filmmaking because uh, uh, usually we assume that uh, people from smaller cities are more conservative but I have been seeing those families some of them are very open I think it's really not uh, just depend on uh, where they are from and uh, uh, who they are it's really depend on uh, what do they think and uh, what uh, how do they know about uh, the information uh, uh, it's also be progress from, uh, of me being educated and uh, also uh, within the LGBT community there are many different uh, intersectionality uh, topics like transgender are more marginalized uh, I have been trying to um, work on it uh, last few years I had made a documentary uh, about uh, drag queens and transgender in Guangxi province and there are also uh, some of them are uh, ethnic, ethnic minorities, uh, they are drawn people, uh, so uh, as, as this is very important and also uh, I've seen a homeless transgender from uh, Qingdao city uh, in Shandong province. I uh, went to interview uh, her and made a small video about her story, but these are obviously not enough. There are stories need to be told, such like uh, countryside uh, uh, queer story and uh, um, people are more uh, pressed uh, such like uh, migration topics are still not uh, uh, so well told in the queer community. Uh, I think I have uh, uh, a lot of different stories and uh, playing in my mind. I hope I can do more contribution. After making activism documentary films for more than 10 years, I decided to take a break from that. First of all, I want to change the filmmaking style uh, on new direction. Secondly, I think uh, uh, I was still involved with LGBT filmmaking and uh, um, uh, advocacy, uh, but I have some more creative ways to make films uh, because uh, I, I see that the society and the community need more uh, creative ways to see how LGBT community is. Uh, so I focus on more experimental and fictional stories. Uh, somehow I feel a lot of stories, it's really hard to tell with the way of uh, documentary filmmaking, but you can uh, create stories uh, based on the reality and show the reality that you, s you have been seeing. Uh, so for example, one of my latest projects is about uh, queer and uh, transgender um, people in um, within the urban change. So I want to combine the story such like uh, uh, urban change together with uh, queer community because I see I can see that these two groups uh, are uh, together. They are intersectionality. Both of them are marginalized uh, from the authority and the government. Uh, and also uh, I have another story uh, focused on fetish community. Uh, I, uh, and and uh, I'm now living in Berlin for a script I'm writing about uh, 
queer Asian artists uh, live in Europe. Uh, this is also a new topic for me. Uh, when uh, you travel, your identity is kind of changing because of the space. And uh, what I had experienced, uh, uh, my experience in uh, Europe city has really inspired me with a lot of interesting stories. I hope you still keep on following my work and I will show more of my uh, stories, interesting ones to you.